Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to click on today's video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Summer and I'm currently on a financial journey to pay off my debt while saving money at the same time. Here on my channel, I am documenting my journey to financial freedom and I make videos on budgeting, saving money, paying off debt, and pretty much anything money related. If that is content that you are interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video. I truly appreciate your support. So in today's video, we are going to be stuffing one of my cash envelopes and two of my seeking funds. I believe we are going to be stuffing a total of $659. So let's go ahead and count the money to make sure all of the money is there. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500. 520, 540, 560, 580, 590, 600, 610, 620, 630, 640, 650, 655, 656, 657, 658, 659. So we are going to be stuffing $659. We are gonna be stuffing one of my cash envelopes. We're gonna be stuffing my food envelope um, because I am gonna need some more money in my food envelope. It says that my food envelope should have $11 in it, so let's just make sure that that is correct. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So $11 is left in my food envelope. And then today we are going to be stuffing my food envelope with $570. It is going to get 10 $50 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 7 $10 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this should be $570. Let's go ahead and count that to make sure that is correct. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 510, 520, 530, 540, 550, 560, and 570. And we have $11, so we are gonna put that we are adding $570. So $570 plus $11 is $581. So now we have $581 in our food envelope. Today is the 12th, and I'm just gonna put deposit. So this $570 needs to get me through the rest of the month. And let's just go ahead and take this and put it back in my envelope. So now we have $581 left in my food envelope. If you are new to my channel, my kitchen had a leak and my kitchen is getting repaired so it has been down so I'm spending a lot more money on food thankfully the insurance company is helping me out with that so that's why my food expense is so high so now that we're done stuffing our food envelope let's go ahead and stuff two of my sinking funds we're going to be stuffing two sinking funds my home improvement sinking fund and my car sinking fund so for home improvement, we were previously saving for cabinets. I went ahead and took that label off. I am going to change it to appliances. I did hear back from the insurance company. And guys, my kitchen is going to be fully covered under my home insurance. So I am very thankful for that. For the last, since the leak happened on December 31st 
and I have been patiently waiting to hear from the insurance company and I did finally hear from the insurance company this week and my kitchen is going to be fully covered. I'm just going to have to pay my deductible and everything else is going to be covered. So I am going to be getting a entirely brand new kitchen. The whole kitchen is going to be completely new. They've already taken out the floors and the bottom cabinets. However, they are going to be coming in the week of February 20th and completely demoing the kitchen. Everything is going to go. So I'm gonna get new cabinets, new um, countertops, a new backsplash and new flooring. Because my flooring has to be replaced in the kitchen and they're not going to be able to match the color of my flooring throughout my house, I'm getting a brand new flooring throughout my house. So that is really exciting that I'm going to be able to meet with the contractors and design a new kitchen. And our home improvements envelope is going to get $45. So let's just do a 20, another 20, and a $5 bill. So that is $45. For home improvements, it says we should have $615. And we are going to be adding $45. Today is the 12th. So I'm just going to put savings. And we are going to add $45. So $615 plus $45 is $660. So we should have $660 in our home improvement envelope. So let's just go ahead and count that to make sure that is correct. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 600, 620, 6. 30, 640, 650, 655, 660. So 660 dollars is in my home envelope. And I'm gonna have to update my home envelope since we were saving for our kitchen cabinets. I thought four thousand dollars was going to be enough. Now we're gonna be saving for new appliances and I'm pretty sure my new appliances are gonna cost over four thousand dollars. So I'm gonna to have to create a budget for new appliances and price out what it would cost for a new fridge, microwave, stove, and dishwasher. That way I know how much I need to save for. And then lastly, our car envelope is going to get $44. So 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, $44. It says we should have $50 in our car envelope and we are going to be adding $44. So $50 plus $44 our car envelope should have $94 in it. So let's go ahead and count that to make sure everything is there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. So 94 dollars is in our car envelope. Well that concludes today's cash stuffing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. Well, I really hope that you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel and I truly appreciate your support. Bye!